These Anderson power pole connectors seem to be in everybody's ham shack these days. The reason is standardization. Standardization of power sources and accessories, uh, not only between all of your gear, but also between other people's gear. For example, if you went to field day and you had a battery that had Anderson power pole connectors on it, but the person who brought the radio used banana plugs for their power source, it wouldn't be a good match. I have adopted the Anderson power pole connectors as my standard for my gear. And I've also adopted another standard for my portable radio gear. I'm Charlie with Red Summit RF and coming up, we're gonna talk about standardization of antenna connectors. Today, I'm going to talk about my antenna connector standard for portable radio, the BNC. For ham radio, there are four very common antenna connector types. There are others, but they're less common. The four that are the most common are the PL259SO259 connector pair, the N-type connector, the BNC, and the SMA. So the first connector type is the PL259 and the SO259. So the PL259 is just the, the male connector and the SO259 is the female. And so, you know, you, you have to screw those on like this and uh, it makes a pretty good connection. Now the N-type connector, I really don't have many around. I have the one right here. This is what it looks like. It's very similar to the uh, PL259 and the SO259. Uh, about the same size, but uh, it's different. And then of course, here's the BNC connector, the, the uh, male, and then this is the female, and they uh, go, go to, together like this. And this is the size and, and look of an SMA connector. They are very common on HTs, this type of connector. Many of you know that I really enjoy participating in Summits on the Air. And so for Summits on the Air, I have to I uh, have my gear, uh, disassemble it and put it into small packages and put it in my backpack or a day pack. I uh, take it up on the top of a hill and then uh, quickly uh, assemble it and make a station out of it and then tear it back down and bring it back down the mountain. And so I am constantly connecting and disconnecting antennas to various radios when I'm on top of a summit. And for that reason, uh, I've chosen the BNC connector because if you, can, if you look at the BNC connector, you'll see that, that uh, it's the only of the four that I mentioned that doesn't have threads. All of the other antenna connectors you have to screw in manually and, and it takes quite a few turns to get it connected properly. Uh, whether it be the SMA, the, uh, the, the N connector, or the SO259, uh, PL259. But uh, the BNC, it's really just a half a twist and, and it locks in place. So for you know, the other threaded uh, antenna connectors, they do have their place in the, in the uh, ham shack where you, know, you don't really need to connect and disconnect very often. But when you're in the field, the BNC connector comes in very handy. So first of all, I have here my uh, N9TAX uh, Slim Jim antenna. As you can see, I ordered it. I purchased it and I ordered it with the BNC connector. It comes with different types, but if you're having one made and, and they have the option, then I would say go ahead and get the BNC as the connector type. This here is my homebrew 20, 30, 40 meter dipole. And if I can find right in here, you'll see that I, I, when I made this antenna, I made sure that I put a BNC connector on it. Now this antenna is a microwave antenna. It's for 1.2 gigahertz. And as you can see, it also has a BNC connector on it, but it didn't come with one. I actually cut it off. It, it was actually the end type connector like this. I cut it off and I added a BNC connector to this. This antenna here is just a rubber duck. It's a uh, dual band rubber duck for uh, 440 and two meters, but yet it also has a BNC in the end so it can easily be connected to the uh, HT. Now it comes to my handheld, for example, my uh, Yesu FT60R. It doesn't come with a BNC connector, so what I do is I purchase the adapter right here. This adapter is a male SMA and a female BNC. And uh, right here on the top is a female SMA, so it screws right on the top here uh, of the radio. And once I get it on there, 
then I can easily connect and disconnect without any problem. Now the Bofang, on the other hand, it's the opposite connectors. Uh, on, so when I unscrew this, I'm not going to see a, a uh, female is right here, and I'm, I'm going to see a, a, a male here in the, in the radio instead of a female, and I'm going to see the female inside of the uh, connector here, the SMA connector. Uh, again, the same thing, you just uh, screw it right on here. And then once I do, I have the ability to connect it to any antenna that I have. So for the FT817 that I use, uh, you can see the front has a BNC connector. The back has a SO239. For many years, I didn't use this front BNC connector just because I preferred the antenna connection to be in the back. And so I use this uh, con converter here that to converts the, uh, uh, well, this isn't the right one. <laughs> this one here. Uh, it's the, uh, the uh, PL259 on one end and the uh, BNC on the other. I just connected it here to the back of the radio and then uh, used that just like that and I left it there. And additionally, for my antenna analyzer, I actually got another con uh, connector, or not a connector, another adapter, and I've, I leave that on my antenna analyzer as well because all of my antennas that I, I homebrew use the uh, BNC connector. So I just leave that on there and, and we're good. So that's about it with the standardization of the BNC connector as your antenna connector. I really think that it's just as valuable as uh, those Anderson power pole connectors, which we talked about which are good for standardizing your power sources and other accessories, making it so that you can interchange between radio and power sources. Just as important is the antenna. And I really think that it's useful, when especially for portable radio and being on that hill, to connect and disconnect all the antennas easily, to be able to interchange them easily without having to thread things on. So with that, I'll just say 73 to you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, if you like this ham hacks, there are more right over here. And of course, you can always see my Summits on the Air videos by checking out the playlist. And so I'll say 73 to you till next time. See you later.